hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to do a full review of the new launch by brustro their metallic pencils now i'm really excited to try out this product because i've never tried something like this before pencils which give you metallic finish and uh, we will see the full detail of this uh, product and also i will try out one artwork using this pencils so yes stay tuned till the rest of the video as i will tell you more about the pencils and if it's worth buying or not and here you can see the full product guys it's made of strong teen box and it comes in a set of 12 you can see the names of the pencil colors and uh, the names are actually very interesting so i will show you the full packaging here you can see the pencils they are in this metallic range and uh, the names are mentioned over the pencils and the grip is also quite strong i like the overall packaging and uh, it also looks quite well built and with a strong lead so here i've made the swatch now it claims to be working on both white and black paper so it's really interesting to see the shine which is more effective on the black paper which you can see here guys it works just like your normal color pencils but the interesting thing is you can see this nice smooth glittery kind of shine so which will really enhance your overall illustration and uh, i really like the smooth finish it was very interesting to put down every color because i think the color combination the whole set of 12 is very interesting you can see it's not like your typical color set of 12 where uh, i see the black is missing but it has some nice other shades like gold antique gold then some uh, purple colors and uh, silver color so now i'm going to try it out over other mediums to see if this works good with other mediums and also how it blends so let's test it out so here you can see i'm doing some base colors first i've tried with the alcohol marker then i have done with a a uh, brush pen and i'm using a different brand of pencil because we need to see that how this pencils work with other mediums as well and here at last i'm using a water based color like watercolor or you can take poster colors so now i will try this blue metallic pencil over the blue base and it works really fine you can see how it changed the look of the marker before it was like matte but after i've used the pencil i can see that nice shiny effect so yes it's working over the uh, marker also and right now i'm doing it over the brush pen also and uh, in the pencil it was also blending very smoothly so i really liked the smoothness of this pencils it was easy to lay down the colors and the grip was tight and uh, with little pressure you can actually put most of the color so it's not very difficult to just uh, run your hands and do the color so you will enjoy working with the pencils as they are extremely smooth therefore guys you can definitely use the color pencils over other base colors as well and lastly i'm testing out the blending between two colors so here you can see i'm using two different color pencils and trying to blend them together and it's again very easy to lay down the first color over the second color and to just blend them together so yes if i want to create a ombre kind of effect or even if i'm just putting extra layers i can definitely do that so this is the illustration piece which i'm planning to complete using this pencil colors guys i want to create a brocade effect here and uh, the fabric which is so shiny and so smooth and so reflective let's see if we can create the similar effect using just the pencil colors so i will be using just this pencil colors i will not use any extra element here because i want to test out the other properties also like how prominent this color would look like the visibility of the color because sometimes when we use pencil colors they look little like faded or they don't look very enhanced so here i will see if i can work only with the pencil colors and here you can see again guys that it's easy to sharp also i'm using a regular sharpener and i'm trying to make it very pointed so that i can work 
on this detailing portion and right now i am working on the base of the fabric so i was thinking of doing a combination of the blue the golden and uh, some pink and purples like from the color palette here which is again very interesting so for the golden portion guys you have some beautiful uh, options like i'll show you the color card here the gold the antique gold the bronze copper and uh, ruby metallic these are all some of the colors which you can use along with the blue and bring a nice contrast so for the metallic shine again i will start with this shade of golden then some bronze colors so yes i'm really loving the color combination here like it's very handy you have 12 set of colors and you can definitely play around with the shade so here you can see the shine portion right now over the white paper also it's looking beautiful only because initially i thought it might not be very bright on the white paper but if you do it on a bigger portion like here i've done the full illustration so right now i can see that metallic shine which i was thinking i would miss but no like it's actually working on the white paper also so i'm using extra black pencil because the black pencil is not there in this set so you can use any other black pencil because in our illustration we need a black pencil and uh, lastly the black pencil will give the final fold effect so you can use any other shade of black pencil from any other range and with this we will complete the look so here you can see guys the fold and uh, the nice shine over the fabric it's also bringing out that fabric look which i needed and on the dupatta i'm thinking to blend two colors like you can see one of the red and the purple shade i'm trying to blend them together which you can see again the color blending looks very rich and very smooth and lastly i will take my black again to give the final shading because in brocade and uh, in metallic fabric like which has this metallic shine we know that we have to increase the amount of the black to bring the nice contrast of the fabric coming at the face i will prefer doing the details like the eyebrows the eyes and the lips with any fine liner only but for the skin tone i was initially thinking of doing it with any other medium but then i thought of doing it with the pencil colors itself guys and uh, the skin portion in the range there is this uh, burn sienna orange ish type of color which i thought would look extremely beautiful on the skin so here i'm using that pencil and uh, finishing the look using this pencil color i'm trying to keep a little artistic way like a little stylized manner instead of doing a full rendering i'm just outlining it and shading it uh, just here and there a little bit in the corners and the shading below the face over the neck and lastly i will also use the black pencil to give some more darker shading over the skin and also finish the hair with this color so talking about the product i think the product is very nicely curated the colors are actually very bright and they work very effectively over the white uh, paper and for the black paper also you can see the metallic shine that glittery shine is more prominent so i'm also planning to try one more look over the black paper as well which i've tried already but if you want me to try a video over the black paper then do let me know we can also do some more other type of illustration over the black paper as well and the product is again very interesting one the colors are uh, something which you can apply over other base so yes that's a plus point like you already have your own color pencils own markers and you can get this box to try and use it over the base which you have done or you can simply use this pencil colors itself here like which i have done you can see i have done the whole illustration using just this box using a black pencil as a helping color so guys do let me know how you enjoyed this review and this final illustration and uh, should i try more such reviews and you can also comment down some products which you want me to review and make videos of and uh, also do try this out illustration if you are planning to try do tag me and do use the hashtag art studio by shabani 
so here is the close up guys you can see how smooth it looks and i'm also loving that smooth effect of the pencil and how shiny it looks like here i'm trying to show the illustration at various angles how it's reflecting light and up close you can see it so that's it for this video guys do let me know your views and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe see you all very soon till then take care bye bye